Happy Easter. We are Wednesday octave of uh, Easter. There are only two uh, celebrations in the calendar of the church where we celebrate octave, meaning eight days, eight days. Octave of Christmas and octave of Easter. And both in Cebuano, it's Pasco. Pasco sa pagkatao o Pasco sa pagkabanhaw. These are the two big pillars of our celebrations, liturgical celebrations. The incarnation, meaning Christmas, and the resurrection, meaning Easter. So that's why it's so important that you cannot just celebrate them in a day, but a stretch of eight days. So octave of Christmas and octave of Easter. So this is the Wednesday octave of Easter, and it ends with the second Sunday of Easter, which is Divine Mercy Sunday. This is not coincidence. For me, this is divine providence that we close the celebration of Easter with the reminder, the true meaning of this celebration. God so loved the world, He is merciful, that He sent His Son to die for us, and He resurrects, because when it comes to pure love and perfect love, no death can stop it. No even sin can change God's love for us. That is the meaning of all this celebration. It's so triumphant when there is love. It's always victorious. And in the gospel just read, this is beautifully, this story you know, is easily recalled, the two disciples journeying towards Emmaus. If you read in between lines, if you listen to them and the conversation, you could feel their prostration. You could feel the pain. There's even a sense of doubt. And there is much of hopelessness. He's, we believe that He is the one to save us and free us, liberate us. But we saw how He died on the cross. That we hope to be liberated. We hope to be freed. But He died. There is that sense of hopelessness. And because of this hopelessness, they could not even recognize Jesus journeying with them. Because of this, of the, of this pain and anxiety and doubts, they could not even recognize him, even if he recalled to them what is being said in the scripture. Look at the level of prostration. Look at the level of suffering and pain they were into. Jesus journeyed with them. They could not recognize him. Jesus recalled to them what he said in the scripture. They could not hear it right. But finally, in the breaking of the bread, they recognize him. What is this breaking of the bread? This is the Mass. This is the Eucharist. As you continue this Eucharistic celebration, in this breaking of the bread, the risen Lord is here with us. Perhaps we are into something painful. We are into something that is uh, doing us or shutting off our sense of hope because of what happened, because of what took place. But here, here in this Mass, in the breaking of the bread, we recognize Jesus, our lover, to give us hope to give us life. That is why we are in this Mass, to join in that breaking of the bread and to recognize His presence and to feel His loving embrace. In this Mass, it is filled with promise. It is filled with hope. And in this breaking of the bread, there is much love. Again, friends, Happy Easter.